We're looking really good right here. We got our cable right here. We're gonna get you an estimated length on that. We're looking at probably about four feet. Some of you guys might need to know. This is actually a lot bigger than I anticipated. The only other devices I have seen, of course, Roku's, Google's, Chromecast, etc. We do have a power micro USB input right there. Of course, HDMI right there, nothing on that. Kind of a bad size reference. Here's your typical coffee mug, and it is just slightly larger. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and look at this. We have HDMI female to an HDMI male right here. If you need that, that is flexible, semi-flexible. I don't know how far you want to bend that, but probably not going to hurt it if you bend it 90 degrees or whatever you need to do with that. All that good stuff you need there, warranty information, and of course your 5 watt, 1 amp, US plug, but of course if you're in another country, they will have that as well. And I'll have all this linked in the description box below if you guys want to check out those links below, read more reviews about it, pick one up yourself. Amazon plug, that does stick out a little bit, so just understand that if you're trying to go seamless, that is larger than your typical iPhone plug there. Remote control, people have been complaining about it. It is completely plastic. The back is completely plastic. It does take two AAA batteries, which are provided. Swing that down, two AAAs back there, clamp that back on. And again, the remote is fully plastic. This is the new remote. You have your input microphone right there. Of course, I've already pulled off all the plastic off of the device. Anyway, overall fantastic. It was well packaged. Actually, I'm going to go more about a five foot plug on that one. So estimation four and a half to about five foot. That again is micro SD on that side and USB on that side. That is to power your device. Of course, goes in here and the other side powers your Amazon Fire Stick. All right, guys, after you have it connected to your television's HDMI port, if you are using, okay, it has instructions right here. It goes through all different sorts of languages. You just press the home button right there in the middle of the remote for 10 seconds, fire it up. Once I get this dialed in, if there's any issues with firing it up, then of course I will let you know. Now I am using a surround sound speaker system, external audio, so, I have one output coming from my tuner into my television. So I actually had to use one of the HDMI ports on the back of my tuner to plug in my fire stick. So let me just show you here. We're gonna hold it down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go, right there. Plus play press pr play pause to start right there choose your language all different languages i'm going to go ahead and start that one now again what's cool about this remote this remote actually is working fantastically so it's actually tucked way down there and i was a little bit worried about that at first but let's make sure <clears throat> that the remote control works oh works fantastically very excellent remote again it's tucked all the way back behind my entertainment center. All right, any other crazy interferences with setting it up, I will let you know. All right, guys, came across that might be a possible issue for you guys. You come to a portion where you start to change the volume of a sound that comes out of the TV because it's actually trying to pair your device and register it correctly. If you're just using your TV, you will have no issues with this. But since I am using an AV tuner, you just choose that you did not have the option of going up and down the volumes. You hit no, and then it says, are you using a soundbar AV receiver? Because I have it plugged into my AV receiver, I chose AV receiver, chose the model Sony. Doesn't even need the model number, just the make. It did it again, and it worked after that. Fantastic. So hopefully that might save you a little bit of an issue. Let's continue forward. And what the coolest part about pairing your remote to your Fire Stick is guess what? This turns into a universal remote. And since I have my Sony AV receiver, I can control the volume during a movie with this remote control. Now I will show you a couple sweet features if you wanna go completely hands-free, but you will need an Echo device. I have an Echo Dot right over here, and that will be pretty much the same exact thing as like a Fire TV minus the Fire TV. So if you already have an Echo Dot, and if you don't, Description box below. Pick yourself one up. They're super cheap as we're going into the Christmas season right now. 
Now that's pretty cool being able to use this to control the volume on that AV receiver. Alrighty, got my Netflix set up looking fantastic watching The Crown. Obviously on this camera showing this television in kind of a dimmer light looks rubbish, extra sharp for some reason. Almost like I'm watching a Blu-ray instead of a regular DVD. So if you're on the borderline of like, should I get a 4K or not? I don't have a 4K TV yet. You might as well try it out. Upgraded remote, yes it is plastic, but 4K TVs are coming down in price. So maybe grab yourself a 4K one instead. I'm enjoying this so far. Plus now I actually see skip intro where my other device would not let me do that. Alrighty guys, a quick update for you here. I went to power up the AV receiver with my Fire TV stick remote and it actually turned on my television as well. That is so awesome. Now I literally have one controller instead of three. One Android box, one television, one AV receiver. This is a game changer. Now obviously, you know what would be so stinking sweet? is even if they made a thicker controller, boom, I'm talking a quarterly keyboard on the back of this. Amazon, you guys can hire me. We'll go ahead and start designing that. How sick would that be? Flip it over and you start typing because let's face it, search options one letter at a time is rubbish. You probably can do it with Alexa's voice. Haven't figured that out quite yet. But I guess what I'm referring to is typing in password. All right guys, I wanna show you two more things here. I have a full video up. I'm not gonna explain how to connect it in this video. It's gonna to take too long. But that other video is on my channel about how to connect your Amazon device so that it can communicate with your Fire Stick TV so you can control with your voice. Let me show you a brief example. Again, how to connect that is already on this same channel. So look through the channel, but here is an example. Alexa, play The Crown on Netflix. Getting The Crown from Netflix. And bada bing, bada boom. Alexa, pause. Now obviously, if your device is next to my TV, you're gonna have some issues with screaming at Alexa if the volume is loud, but you can fast forward with your voice, you can pause it, you can play it, it's really cool. But of course you can do that with the remote as well. But if you already have an Amazon device, it's absolutely fantastic. All right, so let's head back here. Now the second thing, again, I won't show you how to hook it up to your television, but you are able to use YouTube, casting it from your phone onto your Amazon Fire TV stick. Alrighty guys, now how to download load YouTube is what you want to do is you want to go over to the left the search category right there it will have apps up here on the main menu right here it'll have sports but to find YouTube go all the way over to the search magnifying glass there and also it recognizes speech entry so the Cory keyboard might be better for passwords but it might pick it up I didn't try it on the passwords though but watch this YouTube and then your YouTube apps will pop up right there. So we have YouTube, that might be the official one right there, youtube.com. We have videos for YouTube, Tube. All these, of course, are, I would just go on and download the one with the, the best star ratings there. Again, this is the one right here, TV Tube. Eh, it got three and a half stars. I actually might cut it, but unless Amazon boots them off again, but I believe this is the official YouTube one right here. And then you just click on it, download it, bada bing, bada boom, real simple. And I will have a full video on this channel as well, how to set that up because you actually have to input a code on your YouTube device, your phone that I'm actually filming on right now so it can connect to your Fire TV stick. Pretty simple, once you get it up and running and then you can watch all your favorite YouTube videos on your device. Link it up to, of course, your Prime Video, your Amazon Music, all that good stuff. But overall, I'm very happy with the Fire TV stick. The remote control is very dialed in. Again, my Fire TV stick is behind my AV receiver, way down below. I'm way back on the couch, flipping it through, voice recognition, spot on. They did a great job with the remote control. No issues with trying to point it at the AV receiver, pause it, or try to get the angle correctly to hit the remote sensor properly. It's really, really nice. 
I don't have any complaints about it. No cons so far. Hope you guys enjoy it. Look in the description box below the video. I'm going to have links for Amazon devices, of course, the Fire TV stick, and some other things for you guys to get your hands on and read more about. Smash that thumbs up button if it has helped you make an informed decision if you are on the fence about it, and subscribe to the channel because I have those other videos on the channel already. I will see you on the next. Bye-bye.